This is going to be the last video of me showing you the FX 9590. Uh, I'm packing it up. You already seen my videos on my stress tests and all. Why I don't recommend higher TDP CPUs for gaming and all. I recommend you using only custom water corn. No pre-built 120, 240 rad water coolers uh, especially air coolers I mean so this still did the beast with it the big type typhoon thermotake beast cooler still handled it like a champ but you're gonna get those high temps no matter what so it's not worth it especially uh, water cooler which I'm turning this tomorrow see so I don't I don't trust these pre-built water coolers especially a 120 custom water cooling for the FX 9590 or any uh, high TDP watt 220 and up even 8370 I'm gonna be going back to a 8350 I'm going to do a little more testing with that again. I didn't do any testing with when I had mine. But I'm going to do testing with it and see if I should keep that also or not. And just go back to 8300. Because that 8300 is a 95 uh, TDP compared to 125. And I'm not 8370. I don't recommend air cooling hardly unless you got a really beast air cooler. Like a cryo rig or something. But uh, I still don't recommend. You're still going to get those temps. Your VRAMs are going to get mad hot. You name it. You're going to have problems. Still bishy. Still ability issues. You name it. Especially with chips like this. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. Repackage it. Going back. Y'all already seen the videos of me stressing it. Why well, I don't recommend it for gaming. Hired TDP CPUs like this. A beast, uh, Azrock, the 970 G31 beast. Um, yeah, I don't recommend these at all, especially this 9590 for gaming or intensive, uh, whatever you all do with your CPUs. But this is going to be the last video. I'm packing it up today. Going to UPS later and on the way. Uh, Y'all have a good one.